Hey everybody, Mark McCray here, and I have just picked up the newest version of Maya, Maya 2022, and the biggest thing that I was excited about being a character artist is the possibility of making hair card creation much, much easier with uh, the new sweep tool. I used a plugin called Wire that was very similar to this. Uh, but I feel like because this is made by Autodesk um, and fully integrated that it could be a little more consistent and maybe you have a few features that uh, weren't thought of previously. So I'm going to go through live my first time giving this a try to see just how easy this is. So first thing I want to do is create a curve. I'll use the CV curve. I could use EP curve as well, but uh, actually I'll use the EP. Um, I am going to put my mesh as a live surface so that my curve snaps to my mesh. And let's just do a quick curve where I would want possibly a, a nice long strand. So let's make that there. And then we'll turn off the live so that I can do some, uh, oh. where is my, let's get that. So we'll pull, pull it out and off a bit so that the curve isn't resting directly on anymore. And then I also want to Grab this vertex, put it in a little bit, pull this one out, get the that, you know, the curve that I would want for a decent hair card. Let's just play with this a bit. So there's our curve. So we got a nice flowing strand. And if we, so with that curve selected, we go back into create and we hit sweep mesh. It gives us this option. And already I love that. I mean, just with that geometry alone, like you can see, like if I, dropped this down and if, if you wanted to make a more anime style hair you can oh, you can taper it twist so yeah you can already see so I'm, I'm doing cards though so let's take a look here um, so if we rotate this oh, we want it this way nice so that's following there, but, oh, and we'll take this uh, taper off a bit. Now I want this to line up a bit better. Can we do that with the twist maybe? Oh, look at that. Oh, look how well that's flowing. That, oh, that is exciting. This is going to make life so much easier for placing hair cards. Like hair card, it's still going to take a long time because hair cards are anybody that's done them. They are a process to get good looking, proper hair cards, and and that's why I had the wire tool because it was a big help. Uh, but there's still a lot of adjustment that had to be done. This this is going to make things so much easier. What other options do we have in here? Let's take a look. Um, what's distribute? Do? Interesting. Um, let, oh, weird. Okay. Oh.
Can't go bigger than one there. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure that the distribute actually does much to help creation. I can see how with wires and things that that would be, or possibly even with braids or curly hair, you could do something with distribute that would be interesting. Um, Oh yeah, wow, like, so you could definitely do some neat stuff for curly or, okay. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of application here that we can use to get some really interesting results. Um, the taper curve, that's, pretty normal um, it auto created the UVs nice and evenly that's beautiful um, I mean you'll have to move and adjust this for your to max match your hair texture obviously but the fact that it's already so nicely laid out and squared off is really great um, Let's take, let's wave. Okay, so that puts a slight wave. That's actually, that definitely has some applications for your hair cards as well. You can change the amplitude of the wave. Cycles. Well, that's interesting. Huh. Segments. So you could use the wave just simply to get that uh, that nice curve that you like to have in hair cards. Because you don't want your hair cards being perfectly flat. So that wave, like I've automatically got that nice little pullout on, this, on the central uh, loop that you like to have for hair cards. So yeah, this is a thing of beauty. Wow. Um, just with this little bit, like what, five minutes, 10 minutes of playing around, there are some awesome, awesome applications for this to really speed up hair card creation. There's a lot of new features in Maya 2022. I definitely suggest taking a look at them. This is the one I was most excited about being a character artist and knowing the struggle of hair card creation. Um, so yeah, definitely take a look and, uh, if you've, you know, found any cool new features or little tricks already that you want to share, please do always excited about this new stuff. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Have a great day.